again, everybody. Andy Roman here. Listen, last time I promised you that I would talk about shadow work, not only individually, but also how shadow work shows up in relationships. The shadow is really a part of us that has no light. The shadow is the parts of us that we disown, that we're not comfortable with. And the truth is that we do have many parts within us. This totally shows up in relationship, the stuff, by the way. But really, it behooves us to get to know the different parts. Somebody wrote a book called No Bad Parts. And it's all about how the parts of us are learned things. These are aspects. Often, the parts can actually be opposites to each other. And if there isn't some kind of a meeting place, we're talking about inner conflict. And when there's inner conflict like that, we will enroll other people to help us dramatize that conflict and make it much more visible. And unfortunately, that's not pleasant. When couples first come to see me to do some kind of healing work, they are often very, very unskilled. You know, they will name call, they'll be reactive. These are really unskilled ways to be. And unskilled really just means we don't know better, it's immature. The good news is there are skills that can be learned. And it, they really, all the skills involve being real. That's why getting real is so important internally with myself, to be honest with myself, and then to be honest in relationship. If I'm really honest in relationship and honest with myself, I've got to be humble because I'm just as stupid as everybody else. You know, I've been battling with not wanting to be stupid, but I'm finally just making peace with it. You know, we're all stupid. We all have that, that ignoramus quality. We make the same mistakes. We repeat them. We really do uh, the same behavior, expecting a different result. We're, we're, we're stupid. It's part of being a human being. And I'm just saying, okay, that's not that bad. Just know what we're dealing with. Know who we are. Because I'm telling you, if you see stupidity in other people, it's in you, just like everything else. What's that saying? If you spot it, you got it. So it really does behoove us to be skilled in relationships. And that involves telling the truth, being honest, being vulnerable, and being humble. Because out of all that comes a respect. Respect is one of the main ingredients that really holds a relationship together during the tough times. Reactivity is like gasoline on a fire. It just, things escalate and get terrible. But when there is respect, when there's humility, kindness, kindness is the measure. Kindness during the tough times is the real measure of the cohesiveness of a relationship, not how well a person or a couple navigates the good times. The good times are relatively easy. We focus on pleasure and, you know, just that, that sort of a thing. All right, listen, I'm just touching in on that because I don't want these Get Real with Andy segments to be too long. Um, at some point, I'll probably invite you to some kind of a class or some kind of a group work where we can not only talk about the theory that I'm mentioning here, but we can actually experience it and explore these things in real time. That's one of the most exciting things for me in my life, to be part of groups, to be included and involved, and even to facilitate the process. That when I position myself as an elder in this skill gathering community i get to learn a lot because if i'm not a student i can't really be a good teacher it's just the way i find that it works so thank you so much for your interest thank you for your attention and you're going to see a little bit about the books that i've written so get them read them and if i can help you in any way feel free to contact me and i will post my number down below. Okay, thank you. Peace out. <laughs>